Hello guys! Today we are going to be reviewing a movie based on a board game. Can you guess it? Clue from 1985. Now, like I said, this is a film based on a board game from Parker Brothers it's called Clue. Um, so here's what the movie, here's what the game's about. Um, somebody murders somebody and you're a detective trying to figure out who did it and you get clues along the way. So that's kind of what this, um, movie's like, but here's kind of what the movie's about. So, um, Christopher Lloyd is in this, and I really like the guy who plays the butler. He did, whoever played the butler did an amazing job playing the butler, so yes. And I'm going to give this film probably a good rating, just because it was from the 80s. I just really like the 80s films, except for Superman 4 and stuff like that. But anyway, so, these people get invited to this dinner party, kind of, at this big, huge mansion, and they don't know, like, really why, they just get this weird letter or something and so when they get to dinner after that they go into this room and the butler tells them that they're all getting blackmailed by this guy or something and so the guy walks in and he gives each person a weapon and then he turns off the lights and it's pitch black and then somebody gets shot and then they turn on the lights and the guy's dead so they try to figure out who killed that guy and then murders and murders and murders keep happening in the house. Now, it's 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 a mystery movie. I mean, I I'm like I thought the butler did it, but then in one part I thought Mr. I thought Colonel Mustard did it, and then in one part I thought every I thought one person, and then that person, and then that person, and that person. There are a lot of people that get killed, and I think this film was released in 1985, and I think this film was released before the PG-13 rating. This film probably would have been rated PG-13. Not really that violent. It does, it's not graphic. It does not show people getting killed. Like, it shows this one scene where the sky goes like this and the hair goes like that. And then that's the end of the scene. But anyways, at the end, the butler's like this. At the end, when they're like, who did it? And he goes like this. I know who, I know everybody. I know which one of you did it and how they did it. And I go like, well, who is it? And so he tells them how they do it, and, he's, and he runs across the house telling them how they did it. And then he goes like this, it was, the, it was um, this girl, uh, this young girl, and he's like, well, he's like, I'll prove it to you. Empty your, empty your suitcase, empty your pockets and stuff. And um, the, gir the girl had the gun. She was about to kill the guy, and then the police walked in. And then here's how it said, and then, and then, um, and then it says, it, or it could have happened this way, and it happens a different way, the old lady, Mrs. Peacock, does it, and then it says, but this is how it really happened. You want to know how it really happened? Spoiler alert, you have been warned. Probably should have told you that earlier in this video, but anyways, so, you know how it really happened? All of the people... Except one person murdered somebody. He's like, you murdered that person. And the butler's like, you murdered that person. You murdered that person. You murdered that person. You're probably thinking, oh, the butler was the one who didn't do it. No, the butler did it too. They're like, well, who was the last, who, who was the last person who did it? And then the butler goes like, I did it. And he takes out the gun. And then the police come and arrest all the people except for that, except for one guy who keeps saying, I didn't do it. And then at the very end of the film, he says, I told you I didn't do it. And so it's the end of the film. Now, you want to, it's really clever. I mean, when is there going to be a movie based on Monopoly? Exactly. Never. Anyways, guys, so I really did like this movie. It was pretty good. Guess what I'm going to give it? And B plus. It was pretty good. Um, if you guys, if you guys like mystery films and stuff, then, then watch this movie, but it's not really mystery anymore. Little different than the board game, but still pretty good. Anyways, guys, um, like I said, if you don't like, um, mystery movies, this is not m the movie for you, but it's an enjoyable movie, barely any cuss words. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.